It's the, uh, the age of the rocks here that we're talking about. Uh, it's really undersampled. Much of North America at this time was submerged. So we have lots and lots of marine rocks. I mean, the rocks that we're standing on right now, right around here, and everything west of Arlington and everything east of Arlington is all marine. And so we've got a wonderful marine record. It's that terrestrial record. What was happening on land here in North America at this point in time, right? 95, 96, 97 million years in age. Uh, it only was, there was only a little bit of land around here for a short period of time. And so we have the opportunity here around Dallas-Fort Worth to get uh, a rare snapshot of this point in time for this continent here. So there's a, an example of the right lower jaw, tip of the chin of this animal. I think the left, yeah, here it is. Right there next to it, so see together, that's a, that'd be a heck of a bite clamping down on you. So if you imagine uh, maybe an animal around 20 odd feet in length, you're looking at it probably a thousand pound crocodile. You know, it's like a big Nile crocodile, a big saltwater crocodile you'd see in Australia today, probably a little bit bigger than that. And uh, a lot more primitive looking, but a couple of big snaggle teeth here in the front for clamping down on large prey. Uh, yeah, well, the subdivision wasn't there at the time. Right. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but subsequently, yeah. And it, po and it points out that, um, I think, frankly, if, I mean, what are the odds? And, okay, just what happens to be where somebody pushed a bulldozer and pushed a bunch of dirt up a berm and pff, dinosaur bones start popping out of the ground. That tells me that that can happen pretty much anywhere, especially in that swath of land running through the mid-cities. That, that particular rock formation outcrops from way down south all the way up to the Red River, for Pete's sakes. Uh, and we do know there are other localities in it that are producing fossils of, of animals. Uh, I just can't wait to get the next phone call of something else somebody found.